I've uh, come out this morning um, with the intention of doing some shooting around North Wales. Um, parked up currently about 20 minutes before sunrise at Clamberis at the uh, side of Llyn Padarn. And nothing's going to happen, I'm afraid, this morning. It's, uh, it's very wet, which to be fair the forecast did predict. But there is a prospect that it's going to clear up in maybe the next hour or two. So I've had a cup of coffee and I'm probably going to scout round now and go up towards Dinorwig and the slate quarries uh, above this lovely lake. Um, and fingers crossed, I'm hoping to get something. I always am. I'm an optimistic type of person when I come out shooting. Um, let's see what happens. Well, things things did improve where I was at uh, Lamberis, and I drove around a bit, went up to Dinorwig Slate Quarries, and it was chucking it down. Driven around a bit more, and I've ended up uh, one of my favourite locations, which is the Bengog Falls, at the end of Lynn Ogwen. Uh, this has got some amazing views, and despite the fact that it's still chucking it down, let me see if I can show you that. Still very, very wet. I'm actually going to stay here now and whatever comes, I will be shooting around this area. It's always a difficult decision when the weather's like this. and I can sit here looking at the torrential rain for the next couple of hours or I could go home. But if you want to take pictures and you want to get the landscape, you're not going to get those pictures at home, no matter how comfortable it is sat there with the cat. I'll do anything to get a shot today. Well, to be honest, I've had enough of waiting around in the car. I've been sat here for over an hour and a half. I'm just going to go out there anyway. Whatever happens, I've got to get out. It's going to be a wasted trip, so get the waterproofs on, head out. Well, it's definitely brightening up out here. I'm not going to start shooting yet, but I am rather hopeful that in about a quarter of an hour, by about 10 o'clock this morning, it's going to be good enough to shoot. I'm just going to have a quick look over at the Benglog Falls, which is a very spectacular spot, especially with this much rain. Just look at that. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I'm determined to get some shooting in today. Um, I don't know how it's going to pan out, but I am really, really determined to get a few shots with my camera and hopefully around this area because it is particularly spectacular and beautiful. Uh, I have shot here on many occasions before, as I said earlier, and I'm hoping this won't be a complete washout, although it, it wouldn't be the first time, to be honest. OK, I've got another shot here I'm uh, set up for. Another standard focal length, 80mm, Kodak Ektar, uh, f11, uh, round about a quarter of a second. Just got the trees and a little bit of mountain in the background. Drizzles off the camera now, so a little bit easier to shoot.
Well, I've come up to the boathouse at the end of Lynn Ogwen, which is a position I've shot before, but it's a sunset, uh, sorry, a sunrise location. Coming up over the end of the lake, you have Triffin or Trivan, as it's properly pronounced on the right, and you have the boathouse and tree, obviously, in the foreground. The light isn't right today. I've got a lot of white sky and it's just going to bleach out. So I had a look. I'm not going to take a picture and I'm going to move on back to the falls. You know, I've, I've never been down this far before on the path. I've always tended to shoot closer to the trees and I think I'm missing a trick because if you look at the skyline up there, you have fantastic mist and low cloud, but also you've got a brilliant foreground of rocks and trees. And I think I'm going to shoot this, although with the Bronica, which is a square camera, I'm going to crop it into a panoramic. Maybe it'll work as a small square, I don't know. And I think I might need one of my longer lenses. But it's certainly something different and it's because I've got time to explore today because I'm not rushing this is my only location I'm going to take my time Well, I've had some fun shooting here for the last uh, half hour or so, but as you might be able to see behind me, the sky's clearing up a little bit over Lynn Ogwen. So I'm actually going to go back to the boathouse where I said it wasn't working before and see if it's any better now. So I'm back at the uh, famous lake and the boathouse. I'm using my widest lens on the Bronica, which is a 24 millimeter or 23 millimeter equivalent. I've got the tree and I've got the boathouse and I've got a bit of light and trivan in the background. Not perfect conditions, but I'm liking the composition. It might work in colour or it may actually work converted to black and white. I'm sad to say the, uh, the weather's closed in again unexpectedly because the forecast is for, for sun now, but this is, this is Wales in the mountains. Uh, it's, got its own, it's got its own decision on what it's going to do when it's decided to chuck it down. Bit of a pity really because I've got about sort of an half an hour left and I was hoping to finish off the roll of film I had in the camera. But never mind, what's the final tally for the day? Three hours sat in the car, a bit of driving around, waiting outside for possibly two hours, maybe seven or eight frames, and then the drive home. Not a great trip by any means, but I did get out and I have taken pictures, so it's not a waste by any means. And I'm gonna get home now, get cleaned up, spend the rest of the day uh, sitting around, hopefully, and uh, think about the next one I'm gonna do for a photo trip. Thanks a lot. Well, I, I thought it was all over, but as it turns out, as I'm driving away, I spot this view up Nant Franken, and it's well worth shooting. Just look at the clouds hugging the tops of the mountains over there. I've taken a few shots with my longest lens on the Bronica, which is a 250mm, shooting around 125th of the second at f8 to keep the shutter speeds up.